yeah. Up shivering the bones when I pull up I'm popping up the charts like a soda Flow so cold like a cola Y'all losers staying put in your sofa Every day I do the most Ascended, I'm feeling like Moses I'm gifted from God, hope you know this Ain't got nobody close to my greatness Never fuck around, I go to town on these niggas A bunch of clowns, I be fuddle How much they suck can be legal They got a mouth and pairs of ears I could be ain't on my level Each party drop is a struggle Can't find a words for a battle yeah. I'm taking up the arms But I feel I don't really need to Couldn't touch me even if I was to swipe besides you Dodging every chat that's thrown me Ain't got no issues All I gotta do to win it Is to hit the one-two punch Yeah, hit the one-two punch Giving two fucks but I couldn't give enough My name is Logan. I'm a MyApp student, so music industry, arts and performance student. Um, I rap, produce, and songwrite myself. And uh, yeah, I'm a first year student. My name is Dante. I'm a producer, also in the MyApp program. I'm also in the Remix Project, Round 18 for production. And um, yeah, I do hip hop and R&B. My name is Asia. I'm also a first year MyApp student, and I'm a singer and producer. Honestly, is Young as I can, I can tell myself. I'd say like probably, I started just doing music in general when I was in elementary, still. But I think it really kicked off in my later years in college because I was I was in college two years before uh, before taking part in this program. That's really what kicked it off. I met well, I'm a friend of mine who was a producer, and uh, it kind of like motivated me to to pursue that career and and just th drive through it and make it possible for me to accomplish my my dreams mm -hmm. facts yeah and uh for me like um like i started getting into music at like eight years old but um like before i was just really like a fan like and i started playing guitar at like nine um some of my influences early back then were like acdc nirvana green day a little bit of soundgarden david bowie beatles and then, like, it started evolving, like, as, like, time went on. I started listening to Drake, Kanye, The Weeknd. Um, I started getting into beats during high school as well, started making beats at that time. Um, but at the same time, I was also doing, like, graphic design and a bunch of visual arts stuff, so I wasn't, like, fully focused on it yet. But then, like, I told myself, like, at 17, like, yo, like, it's time to take this shit serious and, like, just go all in. And like, I haven't really looked back on it since and like I've been just super focused on production now. I have like always been singing when I was like even just a little kid. Um, I started producing in high school and I kind of just like started taking music seriously like senior year of high school, so like pretty recent actually. For singing, I would definitely say Rihanna. I look up to her a lot. So yeah, she's like my biggest inspiration. I sp I'm like an R&B singer and she's like, she like sings just like, kind of like my style, you know? For me, I'd say I'm a big fan of um, melodic artists like Juice World and also like lyrical rappers like J. Cole. Those are probably my biggest like influences, I'd say, in, in terms of writing my own stuff and trying to figure out different flows and different mel melodies whenever I come up with stuff, so yeah. I'd say Kanye for sure. I'd say Kanye definitely impacted me. Um, but if we want to talk about more producers specifically, um, I could honestly name a bunch, but I'll say like Elangelo, Clamps Casino, Boy Wanda, Metro Boomin. Um, I'll even go with like, r lately right now, Benny X too. I think Benny X has been going crazy recently. Hard. Just hard. Dark. Well, I guess for the instrumental, I was listening to Meltdown by uh, Drake and Travis Scott, and I was just like, it was like a slower tempo, but it was like a dark, mean, aggressive tempo. I was like, damn, like, this shit hard. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, 
hearing that, and then I also was listening to Superhero on Metro Boomin's um, album, Heroes and Villains, featuring uh, Future and Chris Brown, and hearing that track, I was just like, whoa, like, this shit felt like cinematic, this shit felt like, again, like, hard-hitting, aggressive, heavy-hitting, like, and I wanted to make, like, that type of anthem as well on the production side of this record, so, yeah. For me, it's definitely, like, some, so, like, uh, the way that the songwriting process went was I started writing my verse, and then I sent it to Asia for her to kind of build upon it and, like, continue the song. So for me, like, when I was listening to the track, I was really listening to something that's, like, very boastful and prideful and just, like, kind of, like, flexing on the competition. So that was what's kind of, like, and it's not normally the, the type of style that I do, but it just, like, I was, like, really captivated by the production that Dante made. I also was kind of, like, going for, like, a flexing kind of vibe, mm-hmm. kind of, like, the competition, like... It's also just about confidence as well as kind of in the song, you know? 